All right, so today I'm going to do a relationship reading for Russia. So I, I did this uh, a few days ago for Ukraine, and basically I'm looking at this as if Russia were a person who comes to me for a reading. Um, so it usually, you know, that's like a general relationship reading or whatever. But we're doing this reading for Russia. Russia comes down, sits at the table, and it's like, I need a reading. And I say, I bet you do. So let's see what we get. A root card of a reversed eight of wands. Now let's just see what we got here. I'm going to look at the ground in which these wands are growing. Whoop! All right. Now, what we have here... All right. We're just going to start from this. The root card is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands, there has been this energy growing and growing and growing. Right? And here, she decides that today is harvest time. And she chops it all down in one swing. So it's like an impulsive action, but it's been growing and growing and building for a long time. Now, when the Eight of Wands is reversed, it shows hesitating on chopping down the wands. So there's a hesitation. It's like, um, the, the way that I usually say this is pulling a trigger, you know, pulling a trigger on something. And maybe that's not the best uh, lingo for this specific situation. But here is a hesitation at doing something that um, it's probably time to do. Now, our main card is the Three of Wands. So again, we get these wands. Like, these are the same. These wands that have grown up over a long period of time and the wands that grow here. So, in the Three of Wands, so this person, they are nurturing this energy, and this is long-growing energy, and it's a genuine expression of who they are on the inside. These wands grow and grow. Now, here is the defensive territorial mask, and this is what they would use to scare off defenders. And that energy is turned backwards because all this can handle is love and nurturing and patience, right? So this is about um, patience and love to something that you are growing. Now, usually it's like a project or like children or something like that. Uh, genuine expression of who they are on the inside. Now, I pulled this card here to find out the ground in which these wands are growing. And we get another three. So, it's the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles is about creative collaboration. And here, now there are three parties, and they all are collaborating. So, there's no clear leader here. And they all kind of grow as they work together. They kind of help create each other, you know? And there's a lot of trust that is there in between these three parties that are collaborating. Um, you can see this person is letting someone draw on their head. You know, there's a lot of trust there. Here there is massive transformation that's happening between them. As you can see, the blood being drawn uh, as this person hammers on their face, right? But this is about creative collaboration, and they're actually creating something together. So, there are multiple parties here, and eventually their energy just grows and grows. And in the Three of Wands, it's just saying um, patience, nurturing, love. This is kind of the order of the day. Now, I'm going to put a card here because we have the defensive territorial mask, right? 
So I'm going to put a card here to find out what there would need to be protection from, right? And we get more wands. Now this is fascinating. In the Eight of Wands, all the energy grows and grows. She chops them down. It's the same wands that show up in the Ten. So this is like the burden that is created once all of this energy is harvested it's like he's trying to build a house or something right and this is all the thankless shit work that he has to do in order to build this house now here it's basically showing that this actual work once the energy is harvested the actual work it looks like there's something about that that is bad um which is probably why the hesitation is here on harvesting the energy, right? So I guess as a counterbalance to this, let's just see what we have over here. And we get the Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups is a breakdown in communication between these two parties. Now, in the Five of Cups, this shows an old married couple. And they've been too close for too long, and they're not fucking listening to each other anymore. And the cups show um, their em emotional state, right? Now, three of the cups are knocked over because they're like, this fucking sucks. But two of the cups remain standing because of the purity of their connection. So when the five of cups shows up, the general advice is just to kind of separate for a little while... So when you come back together, you can see each other with fresh eyes. But um, that looks like that hasn't really been happening. So we've got this threat of a bunch of thankless shit work over here. And we have an emotional and communication breakdown over here. Now, in the center is just trying to continue to grow this energy. And this is not Russia alone. Now, um, I, I feel like that's important in, in this because the stuff that uh, they've been growing, the stuff that has been building, is, is not uniquely just Russia. There are multiple parties that are involved, and here it shows three of them, and the numbers seem to have been pretty important in these readings, many times the numbers are more important than what actually shows up in the card. But with this, if Russia were sitting here as a person, I would say just try to be patient and don't try to push these things because it looks like that that is not really the way to go. Um, love and nurturing and patience and also with these emotional connections... It's saying, like, maybe taking a break is just the way to go. Um, because no one's fucking listening to anybody over here. Like, communication has fundamentally broken down. All right, now I'm going to put a card up here just to see, like, a higher purpose sort of thing for, for what comes out of all of this. And the Seven of Cups is basically, um, it's about creation. This is artistic expression and creation. This card has shown up a few times in, in um, the readings about sort of this whole situation. And the way that I've translated this card in the past, because it's kind of shown up for media narrative, right? And, and how, and I know that this is true, all of the media narratives that anyone is fed, and it doesn't matter where you are in the world or what media organizations you're listening to, we're all being fed a fucking made-up story, right? And and this is universally true. If you listen to the, the Russian media, they made up a story that they're telling you. If you listen to the Western media, they made up a story that they're telling you. And it's like, it's just universally true. Now... Here, if, if I'm reading this as, like, media narrative, 
that is the higher purpose of what comes out of this whole situation. It's like the whole situation is there to get this narrative to be created. And um, I think that might hint at some deeper truth in this whole thing. But if Russia were here as a person, I would say try to be patient. Try not to force the things that you're trying to grow. All they need is love, patience, and like understanding the way that a child, like you can't, you can't yell at your child. Uh, or like a baby, like a toddler, you know, like you smacking them around isn't really going to help. That's not what they need. A baby doesn't need to be yelled at. A baby just needs patience and understanding. And that's what we have here. Now, um, it is fascinating that once this energy is harvested, the the work that is done with the harvested energy is the thing that needs to be guarded against. Um, fascinating stuff. So anyway, as a, as a relationship reading for, for Russia, um, try to be patient and show your children love. And, that it, and it looks like this hesitation on um, harvesting this energy or pulling the trigger uh, is is a good thing. Like, the hesitation is good. Um, so, that's what we get here. I would love to hear any thoughts uh, that anyone has on this. And peace!